Hello learners, I welcome you all to yet another session of learning. In this video, I am going to deal with Unit 5, The Summit Within, written by Major HPS Aluwalia. Now, look at this picture of Mount Everest. Start describing it. You can pause my video right here, children, and you can start describing. Yes, very good. This mountain, it looks very majestic. It's very strong and very pleasant to look at it. It is covered with ice, right? Then very rough and strong and very beautiful also. Isn't it, children? Right. Now, you can see the top part of the mountain. This is called as summit or the peak. When a mountaineer, he starts his expedition, he uh, reaches the summit, okay? And on his way, he comes across so many hurdles. So there are so many hurdles on his way in order to reach the summit. So he has to struggle with rock and ice and he puts all his energy in order to reach the summit. And after reaching there, he has a feeling of victory, a happiness, a satisfaction, right? And from there, uh, he views the universe and the experience of climbing the summit, it changes a person completely. So here the author, he says that there is a summit within which we need to conquer. So what do you think that there is a summit within children? What is that summit within? Yes, it is a summit that is a mountain of fear we have within it and a mountain of anger. A mountain of jealous, a mountain of negative thoughts, a mountain of being impatient. So all this we have within ourselves. And the, and the author says that we need to overcome all this in order to lead a peaceful and successful life. Right. Now, let us move on to the lesson. Before that, we will read about the author. Haripal Singh Alwalia was born on 6th November. Apart from being an Indian mountaineer, H.P.S. Alwalia was also an author, social worker and retired Indian Army officer. During his career, he has made contributions in the fields of adventure, sports, environment, disability and social work that is in the year 1936. Major H.P.S. Alwalia was a member of the first successful Indian expedition to Mount Everest in the year 1965. He climbed the Mount Everest on 29th May 1965 along with his friends Poodurji Sherpa Rawat reached on the summit. This was the first time three climbers stood on the summit together. The Indo-Pakistan War of 1965 in that this major uh, Haripal um, Singh Alwalia was injured and confined to wheelchair. He is the recipient of several awards like Padma Bhushan, Arjun Award, the National Award for the Best Work Done in the Field of Disability. He won the Tenzing Norgay National Adventure Award for Lifetime Achievement on August 28, 2009. He has written several books like Higher Than Everest, Beyond the Himalayas, Everest is within you. Right? Now let us read the lesson. The Summit Within Major H.P.S. Aluwalia was a member of the first successful Indian expedition to Mount Everest in 1965. How did he feel when he stood on the highest point in the world? Let us hear his story in his words, climbing the summit and then the more difficult task of climbing the summit within. Of all the emotions which surged through me as I stood on the summit of Everest, looking over miles of panorama below us, the dominant one, I think was humility. So here surged means arrow suddenly. Summit is the peak and humility is the humbleness and panorama is a view of wide area. The physical in me seemed to see, thank God, it's all over. It's all, all over means it has ended. However, instead of being jubilant, there was a tinge of sadness. Jubilant means very happy. Tinges, trace or shade. Was it because I had already done the ultimate in climbing and there would be nothing higher to climb? 
and all roads thereafter would lead down ultimate means utmost by climbing the summit of everest you are overwhelmed by a deep sense of joy and thankfulness so overwhelmed means touched or moved it is a joy which lasts a lifetime the experience changes you completely the man who has been to the mountains is never the same again as i look back at life after climbing everest i cannot help remarking about the other summit the summit of mind no less formidable and no easier to climb so formidable means difficult to overcome so here in this particular lesson the summit within this is about hps alwalia's experience of climbing the world's highest summit after talking about climbing the physical summit he has also talked about the task of climbing the summit within so here the author tells the readers about his emotions when he stood on the everest the wide view from the summit made him feel modest the strength made him to climb the mountain he was so tired and thought it's all ended however the author instead of feeling happy because of his success he had a slight shade of sadness the reason for this could be that there would be nothing higher to climb and now he had to come downwards the author says that after climbing everest he felt or he moved he had a deep sense of joy and thankfulness this joy was to last the rest of his life he says that a person who reaches the summit is never the same and when he looks at life after climbing the everest he mentions about other summit that is the summit of mind which is difficult to overcome and not very easy to climb even when getting down from the summit once the physical exhaustion had gone i began asking myself the question why i had climbed everest why did the act of reaching the summit have such a hold on my imagination it was already a thing of the past something done yesterday with every passing day it would become more remote remote means distance and then what would remain would my memories fade slowly away all these thoughts led me to question myself as to why people climb mountains it is not easy to answer the question the simplest answer would be as others have said because it is there it presents great difficulties man takes delight in overcoming obstacles obstacles means barriers or hurdles the obstacles in climbing a mountain are physical a climb to a summit means endurance persistence and will power endurance means tolerance persistence is firmness and will power is determination the demonstration of these physical qualities is no doubt exhilarating as was for me also so here now even when getting down from the summit so when getting down from the sum- summit once the physical exhaustion exhaustion is it is the fatigue or the tiredness so once the physical exhaustion uh, had gone he asked a uh, some questions to himself why i had climbed everest did reaching the summit has a hold on his imagination this act becomes past and was questioning that would that that uh, that would uh, his uh, memories may fade away slowly so whatever has happened it is yesterday it is over so with every passing day it it uh, would become more distant and and these thoughts framed a question for himself as why people climb mountains it is not easy to answer it presents great difficulties man feels happy to overcome the hurdles in climbing isn't it these hurdles or difficulties are physical climbing a summit means endurance persistence and will power the display of all these qualities while climbing the mountain that is the mount everest is very exciting for everyone and even for the author too i have a more personal answer to the question from my childhood i have been attracted by mountains i had been miserable lost when away from mountains in the plains mountains are nature at its best 
their beauty and majesty pose a great challenge and like many i believe that mountains are a means of communion with god majesty means royalty communion is feeling of close relationship once having granted this the question remains why everest because it is the highest the mightiest and has defied many previous attempts defied means frustrated it takes the last ounce of one's energy it is a brutal struggle with rock and ice brutal means harsh once taken up it cannot be given up half way even when one's life is at stake at stake means at risk the passage back is as difficult as the passage onwards and then when the summit is climbed there is the exhilaration the joy of having done something exhilaration means excitement the sense of a battle fought and won there is a feeling of victory and of happiness so here the author was greatly attracted by mountains since his childhood he felt sad being away from mountains he feels mountains are nature's best form the beauty and royalty of mountains pose a challenge the author along with others believe that mountains are a means of communion with god now the next question arises why everest probably everest is the highest peak in the world and many people try to climb the mount everest and every ounce of one's energy is utilized in order to reach the mount everest it is difficult it is tough there's a great struggle against rock and ice so one started to reach the everest can't be given up halfway when one reaches the summit there is a feeling of excitement joy of victory and happiness glimpsing a peak in the distance i get transported to another world glimpsing refers to looking at transported is carried i experience a change within myself which can only be called mystical by its beauty aloofness might ruggedness and the difficulties encountered on the way the peak draws me to it as everest did it is a challenge that is difficult to resist so here aloofness is isolation ruggedness is the roughness encounter is to meet or to come face to face and resist is oppose looking back i find that i have not yet fully explained why i climbed everest it is like answering a question why you breathe why do you help your neighbor why do you want to do good acts there is no final answer possible and then there is the fact that everest is not just a physical climb the man who has been to the mountain top becomes conscious in a special manner of his own smallness in this large universe the physical conquest conquest is difficult defeat of a mountain is only one part of the achievement there is more to it that than that it is followed by a sense of fulfillment there is the satisfaction of a deep urge to rise above one's surroundings it is the eternal love for adventure in man eternal means unending the experience is not merely physical it is emotional it is spiritual so here the peak looking at another peak okay looking at another peak carried the author to another world he experiences a change within himself which is called mystical and here the peak that is the summit or the everest which is attracted or where the author attracts gets attracted to its beauty the isolation of it the mighty the roughness and the difficulties which are encountered and and he says that it's a challenge which is difficult to oppose and the author did not reveal to us why he climbed everest it is like answering a question why one breathes or why does one help their neighbor or why one does do good deeds so there is no answer possible to the above question the author says that everest is not just a physical climb a person who reaches the summit becomes aware as how small he is in this large universe right and climbing everest is not just a physical achievement or a conquest 
it brings satisfaction the experience is not merely physical but it is emotional and spiritual too consider a typical climb towards the summit on the last heights you are sharing a rope with another climber you firm in firm in means make yourself firm he cuts the steps in the hard ice then he belays and you inch your way up belays means fixes a rope inch your way up means to go up step by step the climb is grim grim means serious you strain every nerve as you take every step famous climbers have left records of the help given by others they have also recorded how they needed just that help else they might have given up breathing is difficult you curse yourself for having let yourself in for this you wonder why you ever undertook the accent accent refers to the climb there are moments when you feel like going back it would be sheer relief to go down instead of up sheer means complete but almost at once you snap out of that mood there is something in you that does not let you give up the struggle so here the author mentions as how they share the rope with another climber when you are firm he cuts the steps in the hard ice later fixes the rope to help you inch your way up while climbing every nerve uh, pains every nerve pains at as you take every step so when each and every step is taken a part of the nerve or every nerve it pains to move forward famous climbers mention as how they took help from the other climbers to move forward it is difficult to breathe at high altitudes and cold temperature you curse yourself for having taken up the challenge to climb you think that you will uh, you will get relief to go back instead of going up but your inner self pushes you to struggle it doesn't let you give up and you go on your companion keeps up with you just another 50 feet or a 100 maybe you ask yourself is there no end you look at your companion as he looks at you you draw inspiration from each other and then without first being aware of it you are at the summit looking around from the summit you tell yourself that it was worthwhile other silvery peaks appear through the clouds if you are lucky the sun may be on them the surrounding peaks look like a jeweled necklace so here worthwhile is important and necklace is a garland below you see vast valleys sloping into the distance it is an ennobling enriching experience to just look down from the summit of a mountain so ennobling means honoring you bow down and make your obeisance obeisance refers to it is show your obedience or submission to whichever god you worship so your companion is with you you look at each other and motivate and inspire to reach the peak without being aware you are at the summit finally after you reach the peak you tell yourself that it is worthwhile so worthwhile means it is very important it is very worthy whatever the struggle you have made in order to reach to that is worth for all your struggles from there you can view other peaks through the clouds if you are fortunate if you are lucky there may be sunlight on other peaks and the peaks look like a jewel jeweled necklace around the neck of your summit when you look down you can find vast valleys from a distance and it's quite honoring and enriching experience to look down from the summit you bow down to pay your respect to whichever god you worship i left on everest a picture of guru nanak ravat left a picture of goddess durga poor duji left a relic of the buddha edmund hillary had buried a cross under a crane a heap of rocks and stones in the snow these are not symbols of conquest but of reverence reverence means respect the experience of having climbed to the summit changes you completely there is another summit it is within yourself it is in your own mind each man carries within himself his own mountain peak he must climb it to reach to a fuller knowledge of himself it is fearful and unscalable fearful means frightening unscalable is which cannot be climbed it cannot be climbed by anyone else you yourself have to do it 
so here alwalia left a picture of guru nanak and La Ravat left a picture of uh, goddess durga and puduji he left a relic of the buddha and edmund hillary buried cross under the heap of rocks and stones in the snow so these are not the symbols of conquest but of respect the experience of climbing the summit changes you completely the author says that every individual carries a summit within themselves they have to climb it to reach the success others cannot climb the summit within you you can only overcome the summit of fear negative ideas dissatisfaction anger jealous so you yourself can do it the physical act of climbing to the summit of a mountain outside is akin to the act of climbing the mountain within akin means similar or same the effects of both the climbs are the same whether the mountain you climb is physical or emotional and spiritual the climb will certainly change you it teaches you must about the world and about yourself i venture to think that my experience as an everester has provided me with the inspiration to face life's ordeals resolutely so venture means dare ordeals is painful experiences resolutely means with determination or firmness climbing the mountain was a worthwhile experience the conquest of the internal summit is equally worthwhile the internal summits are perhaps higher than everest so here there is a similarity of climbing the mountain in physical to the act of climbing the mountain within the efforts of climbing for both the mountains are the same climbing the mountain changes you whether it is physical emotional or spiritual or spiritual it teaches a lot about the world around you and the one within you so here the author's experiences as an everester has provided him to face life uh, face life painful experiences with determination and firmness so here finally uh, hps alwalia he concludes saying that the internal summit the internal summit which is there within us so that is higher than the physical summit of everest so we need to conquer or we need to overcome the internal summit so that is the uh, summit of or the internal that is the mountain of fear negative ideas dissatisfaction anger jealous impatient all this we need to conquer and so that is higher and that is more difficult than the physical summit of everest i hope you all have understood children thank you